Hi everyone, my name is Megan, matron of honor too. <laughs> Krista and I met in college over 16 years ago. What? Thankfully, our Sony Cybershot cameras stopped working, and there's little to no evidence of those days. <laughs> so it has occurred to me that not everyone knows exactly how Chris and Krista met. So please allow me to share an extremely shortened version. Krista worked for Oakland County. One day, Deputy McHotty struts in, take your kid to work day with his bitey dog, Mortis. <laughs> she sees him. He sees her. She takes a picture surrounded by a bunch of kids. Her ovaries burst. <laughs> Deputy McHottie disappears, but Krista has a strong journalism background. She stalks. She waits. One day, she sees him in his primitive environment, the gym. <laughs> she approaches. She says, I know you from somewhere. He says, I just had one of those familiar faces. No, Chris does not have a familiar face. He just walks away. So she sees him again in the wild gym. She approaches. He says, what Are you one of my sister's friends? Or no! You're Deputy McCotty from the Oakland County Take Your Kid to Work Day. He remembers. He asks her out. They live happily ever after. <laughs> and now we're reading from 1 Corinthians 13.4. <laughs> love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It frowns upon covering your spouse's head with a pillow to stop the freight train snoring. It requires nourishment in the form of carbohydrates and proteins, because nobody wants a hangry husband or wife. However, love is not enough to sustain a happy marriage. Happy marriages also require communication, friendship, and tequila. In all seriousness, I know you will both live happily ever after because you are best friends. Your love of each other and your people is remarkable. The older we get, the harder it seems to show up. Everyone always seems so busy with everything, texting and calling. Both Chris and Krista have always shown up for my husband and I. Through quarantine birthdays, random bad days, and the death of our beloved pets. I can't tell you how much that means, just to think back on so many times in my life that were just simply amazing because you both were there. You showed up, and I'm honored to show up for you. So please raise your glass. In the words of the great Vin Diesel, I don't got friends. I got family. Cheers. 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 <laughs> and the dessert wine.